Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System. Great to have you back here on YouTube for another video. Today, we're talking UEFA Nations League. Now, we profiled this recently here on YouTube and on the blog with a preview piece. And if you don't know what the UEFA Nations League is, go back, check that video out, and check out that blog so you get up to date on everything that's going on with the UEFA Nations League. It's a fantastic tournament that is going on in Europe right now between the top nations in international soccer and you won't want to miss it because it is a fantastic betting opportunity and it is a great lead up to the world cup which is going to take place later this year november and december in qatar and this year of the world cup being pushed back to a late autumn early winter time period from its usual summer time slot um, but the UEFA Nations League is filling us with some great international soccer this summer to make up for the World Cup's move. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about the UEFA Nations League, and I'm going to profile two games coming up on Friday, two massive games, one between France and Austria. France, the reigning Nations League winners and the reigning World Cup winners. And then the other game is going to be between Denmark and Croatia. So a fantastic Friday of soccer. It's going to be coming to you from the UEFA Nations League. Now, that's just two of the matches going on in the UEFA Nations League. There's basically been matches going on for the most part almost every night, uh, depending on where you are during the day. And uh, you can get up to date on all that with our Soccer Buddy app where you can get all the picks and the score predictions and then go to your favorite sports book and lay down your stake for these games if you are a soccer better and why wouldn't you be it's the greatest sport in the world all right before we get started on this before we get started on uh going over these picks i just want to say if you haven't signed up to z code system yet go ahead and do that now get on that uh, subscribe to this channel as well so you stay up to date on everything that we post here on youtube you're going to want to get up to date or you're going to want to sign up i should say to z code system so you can get all the best systems and picks for all the great sports that are going on the nba finals are going on right now celtics and Warriors, and then also we've got the NHL Finals coming up, Stanley Cup Finals, I should say, coming up, and of course, it's baseball season in America, so a lot of sports is going on. You know, sometimes the summer feels like a down period, but with the international soccer, as well as some domestic leagues going on around the world, plus baseball, plus the end of the NBA season, plus the end of the NHL season, plus the start of the NFL season, there's so much going on, so sign up today at zcodesystem.com. Now, Let's get on to these picks. But before I do that, let's take a look real quickly at the updated futures odds, outright winners odds for the UEFA Nations League. Okay, so I'm using my favorite sports book. If you've watched these videos with me before, you know that Bet365 is my favorite online sports book. So we've got those odds right in front of you for the UEFA Nations League right there. And the Netherlands have come into first place. I, well, I guess I should say first place. They are now the favorites of the sports books, along with Portugal at plus 500 to win the UEFA Nations League. This time around, Portugal won the inaugural UEFA Nations League back in 2019, uh, beating the Netherlands in the final. Now, they are playing very well. Portugal are playing well, as are the Netherlands. So these are two teams definitely to watch out for. Germany, a dark horse in my opinion. They've got a new manager, Hansi Flick. They haven't lost since he took over management of the national team back in September. I really like Germany in this one. Uh, England, stuttering a bit. Italy, so-so. Uh, Spain have been a bit of a letdown so far. And France, a team we're going to talk about in just a second. They've been a real letdown at the moment uh, in the UEFA Nations League in League A. So that's a team you might not want to put your hard-earned cash behind right now to win the Nations League. Denmark, another one of those sleeper teams that I think could lift the Nations League title after they made it to the Euro Championship semifinals last year uh, where they were beaten by England on a dodgy penalty. All right, guys, let's take a look at these picks for these two games for Friday night's action in the UEFA Nations League. Okay, so you can see quite a few Nations League games that are going to be going on on Friday night, but I'm only really going to talk about two because if you have if you went through our preview of the UEFA Nations League, our blog and video, you'll know that the UEFA Nations League is split up in different leagues. Uh, and we're going to only be talking about the top league, League A, for this one. And we're going to be talking particularly, particularly, I should say, about France and Austria and Croatia and Denmark. Now, Denmark lead group... Uh, group one, which is the group featuring France, Austria, Croatia, and Denmark. Denmark are a perfect six points from six after they defeated France 2-1 and then defeated Austria 2-1 as well. And Denmark in the in their first two games uh, playing very, very well, but they needed goals in the final six minutes of both games to pick up the wins. Croatia, they have one point from six 
points possible in the tournament. They drew last time out 1-1 with France after losing to uh, Austria uh, earlier in the tournament. So this is a team who's desperate to get points on the board. But this game is going to be played in Copenhagen to a in front of a rowdy crowd. And Denmark, like I said, are a sleeper team, a very good team. They made it to the semifinals of the Euro Championships last year where they were beaten, again, like I said, on a dodgy penalty by England. And in my opinion, Denmark deserved to go through in that game. But uh, now they have the chance to take a perfect nine points from the first nine available. And if they do, they are going to be difficult to stop uh, at the for the rest of the UEFA Nations League group stage. And I'm going to go backing, I'm go- I should say, I'm backing Denmark here to pick up a win. And I like that 2-1 scoreline because Denmark have won both opening games so far 2-1. And I think they're going to do it again and possibly get a late goal for a third straight game to pick up the victory over Croatia. All right, now going on to France and Austria. Austria have been pretty good so far. They have four points from nine right now. Uh, They're a team that not a lot of people thought would do this well at the UEFA Nations League. They were promoted from the League B last time around. So Austria are playing very well as we go into match day three. France are France, though. France are one of the best teams in the world and really the team that was supposed to win this tournament to start out with. And they were one of the favorites early on to win the World Cup, which again will be played later on this year. They're the reigning World Cup champions. They won it in 2018, beating Croatia in the final. They're also the reigning UEFA Nations League champions. They won that last autumn, uh, defeating Spain in the final. But you know what has happened? We've had a very, very long season in the club football the club soccer level and i think france and their their great players their high profile players are struggling now due to fatigue and i think that fatigue could come back to bite them in this game and uh although austria are playing well and uh they could nick something in this game i do favor france to pick up the win uh they have a 2-1 score line there total uh, score prediction there against austria but you know what you might want to play this one safe Go with a France double chance win or draw in this game. Um, I do think France will get points in this. Uh, whether it be a win, not sure about that. Like I said, double chance win or draw in this game. Uh, but France to get some points on the board and potentially salvage their UEFA Nations League campaign. All right, so as you can see there, we've got these other games. Uh, a lot of the, I guess you could call, minnows of uh, European soccer also playing in the Nations League on Friday night. Those are some free picks right there for you. So if you want to put together an accumulator, uh, fourfold, a lucky 15, whatever it is, then you've got these picks here to add to your bet slip and to get them in for some excellent soccer betting this weekend. All right, guys, let me know what you think of these picks. Uh, do you think France can overcome their poor start to the Nations League? Is Denmark for real? Can they win the UEFA Nations League? I like them to win it right now. But uh, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below here on YouTube. And if you like this video, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can stay up to date on everything we do here, whether it be soccer, baseball, basketball, football, NHL, hockey. We do loads of different uh, sports here at Z Code System, and uh, you're always covered with the website. So, guys, we'll see you soon. Don't forget to sign up today, and I will be back with another video soon here on YouTube.